Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to the module 4 for Node.js master's course. In the module 3, we talked about Node.js with the GraphQL, how to create a GraphQL queries, mutations, how to expose these queries and how to interact with type ORM, how to interact with MySQL using these ORMs like SQLize and type ORM we have already seen. Now in this module, we are going to look at what all Node.js framework we have used. We are primarily using Express, like while interacting with the MySQL, we were using Express, while doing some queries on the MongoDB, that time also we were using Express. So what is the other option we have when we wanted to write Node.js services? Okay, what other module or what other framework we can use apart from Express? There are many Express, Koa.js, Happy.js, Express, Nest.js, Loopback, Sales.js, many. I mean, there is there is a huge list. But what all are popular? I mean, Express is obviously one of the popular candidate. But when it comes to writing a TypeScript for Node.js API backend, it's always a challenging because Express, uh, we have to use explicit TypeScript type definitions, interfaces and classes, right? And Express is like one of the free framework you can write in your own way. You just need to create a routes, you just need to require the express app.get put post, you just define the express routes, you can create a MVC kind of folder structure or you have your own folder structure you can create. Okay, so that is express. But when it comes to using a TypeScript and we wanted to have a proper folder structure and we wanted to have a modular structure also, that case Nest.js is one of the popular and I will say the best candidate when it comes to writing a TypeScript with Node.js. Okay, so we will talk and take a look on how we can actually convert our Express application into TypeScript, what are the advantages of TypeScript, how, what you need to do to add or integrate TypeScript for your basic Node.js application, basic Node.js Express and then we will move to this Nest.js totally because Nest.js has everything inbuilt. You don't need to do or you don't need to use any external library that Nest.js core, Nest.js common, Nest.js is providing each and every library even to interact with the type ORM, to interact with the SQLize, to interact with MongoDB. It has its own ecosystem, library ecosystem which we can use. So Node.js with Nest.js, I mean no, Nest.js is nothing but an extension of Express using TypeScript if we call it in that way and it is using Angular style of modules. If you are familiar with Angular JS, sorry Angular which is greater than 2.0 now we are using Angular 10. In our Angular also we are creating the modules, services, controllers and all. Similarly while writing the APIs you can use Nest.js. Nest.js will give you the opportunity to create modules, services, controllers, all these routes you will be creating there. You can create a middleware, interceptors, pipes, filters, all these things are there in Nest.js. So we will actually build the API backends using Nest.js framework. We can also talk about Happy.js, but currently I will say for writing the TypeScript code with Node.js, you can go ahead with Nest.js. It is very much popular. And we will use the, these type ORM, Nest.js, type ORM, Nest.js, Mongoose module to interact with the database. So this is overall agenda and it covers a lot of things after understanding Nest.js you will be very much comfortable in the writing TypeScript with Node.js okay you will really like the front-end code you are writing in Angular same fashion of code you will be writing for Nest.js to write API backend okay so let's get started for the module 5 module 4 and in this module we are covering everything about Nest.js it will be around 30 to 40 videos 40 learning videos and in, at the end we will be creating some POC demo applications where we will be doing a API operations uh, you, using these SQLize and type ORMs and we will be reading and writing database for, on MySQL. Okay, thanks everyone.